Today we're talking all about the KuCam 8K. This offers 8K at 30 frames per second as well as 4K at 120 frames per second. Outside of the 8K video resolution, this guy features a 2.4 inch screen, which is unheard of in the 360 camera world. I mean, many of these cameras have a tiny little screen that you can see basic readouts, but they're definitely reliant on your cell phone or tablet being connected to them for most functions of the device. That's not the case with this guy. Even before you take the shot, you can move it around and kind of check on things and be able to reframe right there on the screen, which is pretty cool to get an idea of what it will look like after you're done shooting. There's some other interesting features about this KuCam 8K, which I think kind of open up another door. This actually has a 3.5 millimeter jack on the side of it, which means you could plug in your traditional microphone right to the side of it and be able to vlog. I think this is something we've had in our minds with 360 cameras for a long time of being able to kind of walk around with it. One angle is pointing at you as you're talking throughout your surroundings, and the other one is pointing straight forward to the sides, kind of capturing the environment that you're in. And being able to capture great audio from that mic jack is a huge draw if you think about it. This camera's also got 64 gigabytes of memory built into it, as well as a micro SD slot on the side so that you can expand that memory. With the KuCam 8K and its large sensor, it reduces noise and has better photo sensitivity to give you clear, cleaner images. The KuCam 8K can also take 30 megapixel images at 10-bit RAW. It's got an internal 3000 mAh battery that's not removable, but it does have USB-C and it is quick charge capable. I never thought about using a 360 camera for an interview before, though the ability to reframe is really interesting. But with the 8K resolution on this, I would love to be able to stick this camera between two different people, you know, and as they're talking or one's interviewing the other, just being able to reframe inside of the video editing software when we have the interviewer talking and the interviewee talking a minute later, just being able to use one clip to be able to shoot both sides of that is very intriguing to me. I would say that the KuCam's biggest opportunity is definitely its software. Its app is definitely not there yet compared to other 360 cameras on the market such as the GoPro Max and or the, any of the Insta360 cameras. Is it going to make me stop playing with my Insta360 One R? Probably not. I think there's a world where both of these can coexist and I would use them for different things. When companies innovate and when they drive innovation through competition, the consumer wins. So I love the idea of these companies continuing to push each other and to kind of see what's next. It's so funny to me when people kind of talk about 360 cameras and they kind of dismiss them as some kind of gimmick. And I think the KuCam 8K makes a huge, huge case for the fact that these are not a gimmick and they're just getting started. And there's a whole lot more coming from the 360 video world. So I want to take you through some samples. This is a video shot at 8K, 30 frames per second. And I'm just going to move you around the environment as we go through this video. Next up, this is a photo taken on the KuCam 8K. This was shot in DNG8. I'm just going to move you around so you can kind of see what this camera can do in the photo world. And here are a couple of fun, silly, you know, social videos that I was able to shoot and have fun with playing with kind of the story mode within the KuCam 8K. But if I had to summarize everything about the KuCam 8K, whether it's the 8K resolution, the higher megapixel photos, the large sensor, you know, the 2.4 inch touchscreen, there's a lot of great things going on packed into a $600 price tag. Does it have some work to do? Absolutely. But do you get a lot for that $600? Absolutely. I think the KuCam 8K is definitely driving the conversation, not only innovating in the 360 world, but in the traditional 16x9 reframe side of things as well. I think there's a lot of really unique shots that you can get with a 360 camera, and this just helps level that up. So what do you think about the KuCam 8K? Have you had a chance to play with it? What are your thoughts? What are its strengths? What are its weaknesses? Let me know in the comments below. That's it, I had a lot of fun chatting with you about the KuCam 8K and kind of where I see it in the world of 360 cameras. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, we talk all things tech, camera, drones, 360 cameras. If it has lights or buttons, we're probably gonna talk about it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and drop us a like and definitely subscribe for more videos to come.